children, your highness. Foreign children. Unique specimens. You're sure they can't get out? <laughs> hey guys, <clears throat> so you just saw that video. I remember watching that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and I was, I remember being, as a kid, I was horrified at the, the, the kid, the kid catcher. Seriously, that was, uh, I used to have nightmares about that. Uh, that was the scariest part of that movie for me. And you know what? It's reality now. In 2019, 69,000, over 69,000 children were still being held in prisons, in cages, in detention, whatever you want to call them, on our southern border. Uh, around 4,000 children are being held right now in detention centers across our southern border. The scary thing is the Trump administration has no way, no plan of ever reuniting these. They, they don't even have, they have no way to reunite family and the families they've torn apart with their kids. Um, they have no plan for this. Uh, I, I believe that in the future, this is going to be a, a national disgrace of, of huge proportions, um, equaling, equaling like slavery and uh, what was done to the millions of Native Americans, the genocide uh, of the millions of Native Americans. This, this is going to be right up there in our, his, in our, in our future history. Um, disgrace. Tearing apart families. Zero tolerance under Trump. Uh, Jeff Sessions was ordered, ordered zero tolerance. And let me clear up one more thing that I've looked over and researched, and I'm gonna ha I've got um, links down below to my sources. Um, the Trump administration, I mean, uh, the Obama and Bush administration did construct um, holding facilities for, for illegal immigrants, um, detention centers. These centers were meant for entire families. Um, the... the Families were meant to be released or deported within 24 to 72 hours. It, from everything I've read, that uh, children and families were never separated under the Bush or Obama administration, unless there was a suspected case of child trafficking, abuse, something like that. Uh, very rare cir circumstances where families split apart like they are now. Um, it's a national disgrace, and we're not even talking about it. What's going on? Uh, four, up to around 4,000 children not right now are being held. And I was reading up, too, uh, psychologically what happens to these children. Um, this is something that really hasn't happened before that's been studied, but what they see going on with some of these kids, they see these kids in detention banging their heads against the wall, screaming, crying, uh, defecating, urinating themselves, sexual abuse between the kids in these detention centers. That's what's going on in these horrific of, or environments that Trump is allowing that nobody's even talking about these days. Uh, it's a national disgrace. It's a, 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 a supposedly the greatest country in the world should not be uh, tearing apart families. And... Uh, and the worst thing is they have there there's very little plan or future to, to put these families and kids back together again. The store and the stories of the children that did get back with their parents are horrific too. These these kids are are, are damaged for life. Uh, reading up on the psychological effects of separating a child by by his or herself, cutting off their freedom. Cutting off their family. So the worst thing is the uncertainty to these young children. It causes all sorts of psychological damage. Eventually, if, if they ever re are reunited with their family and sent back to the Honduras or Guatemala or wherever they came from, there's no means, of none or very little means of, of mental health services to, to, to help these kids that have been broken, damaged by our, our great president and our great country. Um, and just today, too, this all occurred to me today when we have all this huge march uh, to Washington, D.C. to protect the unborn children. What about these kids? Um, these people talk about family, family values, uh, you know, family values, the sanctity of life. 
Well, you have, you have families torn apart and damaged, ruined kids in, in detention centers uh, all across our southern border. It's, it's a national disgrace. Something to think about today when you're, you're watching that march for a uh, right for life march on Washington, D.C. All right, this is Daryl. Have a good Thursday.